Hi, welcome. Today I will show you how to attack with the knight. So, what is the best position for the knight? Probably the worst is at the corner. Why? Simple. Because if I put the knight at the corner, he will have only potential to play to do two different squares. So, next, the second worst, in my opinion, it's on b2, b7, g2, or g7. Why? Well, it's near the corner and you have potential to play two, four different squares. Of course, you, you probably you are thinking about, hmm, okay, at the, lat the lateral side, probably is, it isn't good too. So let's see. I'm going to put another knight here just to show. So one, two, three, four. So it's similar to b2 or b7. Uh, but what if I have the knight on a central square? Well, if I have the knight on the central square, the potential will be higher. Because, for example, if I put a knight here, uh, it will be an octopus. Even better is, for example, on this square. <laughs> if I'm playing white, for example, I will restrict a lot the movement of my opponent's pieces. So. Why is an octopus simple? Because I can play to eight different squares. So this knight is a monster. So um, if you can play the knight to the center and if you can restrict the movement of your opponents with the knight, this will almost always be a good idea. So it's very important to have this concepts so for example uh seeing the initial position let's see a basic idea on the um, italian uh, game the knight's attack so e4 e5 knight knight bishop and knight and now i'm going to play knight g5 i'm threatening threatening a fork for example, if my opponent plays something like that, a6, I'm attacking the f7 square with the bishop and the knight. So that's a reason the king cannot take any of the pieces. But of course, better is to take with the knight. Why? Well, because I'm attacking the queen and the rook. So this is a double fork. A double fork is when we are attacking two strong pieces. So if my opponent had a bishop instead of the queen or a knight, it would be a simple fork. So the difference between a double and a simple fork is related to the value of our opponent's pieces. So of course, okay, but this is very basic. Uh, you are talking about uh, 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 a low rating idea. Yeah, but we're going to talk about uh, complex co com concepts. Let's see again. So, knight and black will play d5. This is named uh, Polarity Defense. We will talk about that on another video. So, after knight, uh, pawn takes and knight takes, uh, we have, for example, the um, pride lever attack. Uh, it, it isn't the best, but just to show, uh, I think it's in important because it is related to the, the, the knight's attack. So, uh, because of the pressure that we are putting on the f7 square, uh, it will be very interesting to sack the knight on f7. Because if king takes, we have already queen on f3. And, well, because of this knight's idea, this attacking idea, we exposed our opponent's king. And because of that, he will need to play on e6. Of course, the engines uh, nowadays tell that this is a playable position for black. But of course, if you're uh, 400 or 500, Probably with black you're going to lose quickly and with violence because after knight, knight, 
uh, I can play the queen to defend and create pressure and this game will be always complicated for example just to show the end I'm threatening everything so um, why should we uh, attack with the knight well it's important to think what will be the advantage of attacking with the knight of course this example i was showing uh, creates um, a problem uh, related, related to the security of our opponent's king one another idea can be to break the structure the pawn structure and if you break the pawn structure on the end game you will win the game uh, so third uh, you can uh, use the knights to remove pressure of your game so the knights are very important all the pieces are important of course but uh, the knight in particular are a very important piece i will give uh, one more quick example a basic one but important because i want you to learn if you're starting to play chess right now so and later i will push uh, with the rest of the guys so uh, for example i'm playing with white how can i give a fork uh, here is a double fork yeah because the king is important so if i play with white of course uh you're seeing the c7 square so knight check and i'm forking the king and the rook so this is a loss for black because even with the ch the, the queen giving uh, the check um i can do whatever i want even with the bishop uh losing the pawn but you don't need to complicate you you can play knight e2 and then you solve the problem with d3 so it's it's quite easy easy so uh the forks are the idea that when we use one piece to attack at the same time two opponent's pieces in this video we will talk just about the knights and the the forks idea is is simple later i will do another videos uh, about forks and with all the pieces um, doing all kind of different attacks but right now it's important to see some practical examples and try to reach out what is the best continuation so the first position i want to show you is a position on the game between Boris Pasky and David Bronstein. Uh, I don't know the year, uh, I think it was at um, uh, year 60, so on the last uh, century. And um, uh, this game was won by Boris Pasky. Let's go. So, okay. Uh, in this position is white to play. And we want to attack with our knights to try to win this game so how can we do that let's think a little bit and well this knight is a problem because if i put my queen on h7 later i can uh, i will play uh, the i will give check i will play uh, the queen to h8 and i will give checkmate so right now i want to play the knight to d6 why d6 you're thinking right now well when i play the knight to d6 i'm entering the my opponent's territory and at the same time i'm threatening checkmate and i'm working <laughs> this is a, a, a very spectacular uh, fork because i'm attacking two ideas I, I have two attacking ideas at the same time so very very interesting so in this position bronstein has played the knight uh, to f7 uh, the computers like bishop takes uh, of course 
nowadays probably uh, Carlsen and uh, Caruana, uh, those monsters probably would see that, but on those days of course not, because without computers it were uh, uh, more difficult. Uh, but the idea um, makes sense. If bishop takes, I'm not threatening checkmate because I have this square, but well, it's complicated. So, uh, Bronstein has played the knight uh, to f8, and now you just have one idea that wins the game. And the idea is to take on f7. And you're thinking, what? Yeah, yeah. Basque has played that. That's the reason he was a world champion. Uh, and why this works? Well, uh, of course, everyone will take. And Bronstein has taken. But imagine that the king takes. This is beautiful. Because this will finish on checkmate if he uh, takes the piece. The idea is to sack the knight on g5. And if the pawn takes, he cannot take. <laughs> It's a double attack and uh, the king will go to g8 and now let's go bishop check on b3 he doesn't have many ideas of course i will not do this move because this is just pathetic uh, i will uh, play the king to h8 and uh, well rook takes rook takes and checkmate just beautiful beautiful spassky was a genius so here uh, the black has played the most uh, normal move he has taken material <laughs> i will take two and after rook takes bishop f5 is uh, is like uh, is nervous because what will he do probably he had uh, queen to d5 but the position isn't easy because the knight is on f7 is restricting all the, the, the movement of black pieces so he has played that and after queen takes the game is already won for white so black has played that of course if uh, king takes uh, the idea is the same i have knight g5 so uh queen and now he just plays backwards and after bishop now uh, the game will finish in five or six moves with another knight attacking on e5 and protecting the knight on f7 this continues with queen and now bishop threatening this idea so this continued with bishop takes knight takes and after king the game it's over why, why this game uh, has finished right now uh, easy because after king uh, uh, to h8 uh, white will give checkmate because of rook takes for example i can take with the rook and of course <laughs> we can fork but this isn't uh, this isn't a simple fork this is a double this is a triple this is everything so this fork will finish on the checkmate because after king h7 because of the bishop i cannot play here uh, i will take the rook <laughs> and now king and checkmate so this is uh, from another world beautiful 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 idea so we've seen the our first position a beautiful idea by boris pasky so he uh, uh, he combined the ideas of the fork and attacking with the knight so the second position is a position uh, played between the great Tigran Petrosian uh, playing with black and with white the the great uh, Joaquin Duran Joaquin Duran uh, was probably one of the best Portuguese uh, chess players all time so let's see this second position on this second position is um, black to play and Joaquin Drum was a, a strong player but of course uh, Petrosian was Petrosian <laughs> the, the, the great uh, pro probably the greatest uh, defensive um, chess player ever and of course if this knight goes away white is threatening uh, checkmate 
So here Petrosian has played knight to d5. And what is Petrosian's idea? I, uh, Petrosian wants to attack on the king's side with the knights. So here uh, White has played the bishop backwards because, well, he is afraid of the ideas on those squares. And Petrosian jumps with the knight of h5 to f4. He is not afraid of attacking ideas because the knight is protecting this square. And, well, let's see. If the queen goes here, what happens? Oh, black has checkmate. So, the problem is that Petrosian doesn't need to be afraid. So, this continued with bishop takes, pawn takes, improving the pawn's position. And now I have a great square for my octopus. Bang! This game is over because, well, I threat a threatening rook takes bishop, queen takes and knight takes with a one position uh, for black. And uh, here, white has sacked the rook. And after pawn takes, queen takes, the game is over because of this idea. So he will win uh, another piece. Uh, he was already winning by two points, so here Joaquin Durand has uh, uh, resigned. So, we've already seen two positions, two interesting, uh, interesting dynamic and very beautiful ideas uh, played by the, uh, two of the greatest chess players ever. But I have more. The third position was played by um, Anatoly Karpov. Karpov, uh, when he was at his highest level, uh, probably he was one of the best uh, players to play with the Knights. And in this game, I don't know how to say the name of his opponent, but I will try. Uh, his opponent was named uh, Istvan uh, Ksom, I think. And, well, in this position, uh, Black has played the knight to f8. And, well, <laughs> Karpov will show how to win a game quickly. In reality, this position is just a move. And if you want, you can think a little bit. I will not give you many time, so it's uh, probably it's better to put the video on, on pause because of the uh, duration of the video. Uh, of course, uh, while you're thinking out, uh, if you're enjoying this video and uh, you're uh, learning something uh, on this video, you can always like, you will make me a big favor and um, comment, uh, I don't know, subscribe, uh, help me uh, reach uh, more audience and uh, more persons uh, to um, continue creating uh, content. So, let's go! Here Karpov has played the beautiful move, Knight F5, my god, beautiful! Why is this beautiful? Because this game now it's over. Black will uh, uh, white will give checkmate oh where oh what happened but easy the rook is attacking this um arrow i think in english is arrow and the knight doesn't let my queen to go to h2 oh but but well but if pawn takes the knight is protecting this this square how will you give checkmate Let's see if queen h2, the knight is protecting, true, the king will go to g8, but I have queen g3. It's over, because now I will attack here, and I will give checkmate. So, beautiful idea by Anatoly Karpov, to sack the knight because of the problems uh, related to the king's security. So, beautiful idea. The next position was played at Havana, Cuba. And <laughs> you already know who is the player. So, playing with black, we have Jose Raul Capablanca. 
and with white we have Emmanuel Lasker. So both were uh, world champions. So this was a very interesting uh, game, a very beautiful game and a very simple idea as uh, gave the win to Capablanca. Let's talk again uh, um, about perks. So let's go. So in this position is black to play. And oh my god, the title is strange, but okay, I will let this no, let's change. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And okay, now it's better. And uh, in this position, uh, it's black to play. And Jose Raul Capablanca will see a very easy uh, idea to give fork to Emmanuel Lasker. So, have you already seen the idea? Yeah idea is to give check because now it's necessary to play with the king and he plays knight e5 and he is doing a double fork so now white has to play with of course the queen and he takes the rook at the long term Capablanca has won this game because of these two uh, points this is named a quality uh, he has advantage of a quality. So, very simple idea and very useful because he has won the game because of that. The last position I want to show you is a more modern uh, game. And it's between two monsters. So, playing with white, we have Vishwanathan Anand playing with black. We have, Va uh, sorry, Vaseline. Yeah, it's uh, correct. Topalov. So, uh, in this game uh, played at uh, Bulgaria uh, at, um, to, um, at 2010, I think, um, Vishwanathan Adnant has uh, won the game um, with a spectacular idea uh, too. So, let's go. So, in this position, black has played bishop to c6. And here, Anand has played first the rook. So, black has played h6. And, of course, we want to attack with the knights. So, I will jump with the knight to d6. This is an octopus, remember? This knight is attacking... attacking eight different squares and the most important is that this knight is restricting the movement of Topalov of his movements so this continued with the queen to a7 and now knight g4 Anand was and is a great player because now he will see a very aggressive concept he will stack the knight on h and after pawn takes queen takes he is analyzing quite well this position because well the keys the king is unprotected uh, the queen is on a great square and the knight is great too so how will black defend this position <laughs> he can't so he played f6 and after e5, he is unleashing the bishop potential and the rook potential. So this continued with bishop takes and pawn takes, threatening checkmate. But we need to solve yet the problem of the queen because I don't want the queen to be defending and protecting this square. So this continued with rook takes rook takes and now bishop to try to uh, defend another square the h7 so here anand uh, takes the pawn on e6 and the problem is that he is attacking the bishop and is preparing to play rook e7 
Why is that uh, dangerous? Because after rook e7, I will give checkmate with the queen, the kiss of the dead. So this continued with the knight and rook first, because if rook goes here, he is threatening uh, queen takes. And after rook protects, this game is completely won for white. So here, Topolov has played the queen, and this check finishes with everything, because it's mandatory, of course, to take with the queen, because if rook takes rook check, rook goes uh, backwards, and I take with checkmate. And if the queen takes, now I have rook takes, queen, and again the queen. And this game is completely over. Why is that? Simple, because of the same reason. If the rook goes here, I give check, rook, and I take. Uh, and, oh, sorry, we have another idea too, because uh, rook here, rook here, rook here, and if I take queen take, I can, for example, play simple things like that. So this game is completely over. So here Topolov has resigned because he doesn't have any counterplay and the game is completely won for what? So well, uh, today I showed how to attack with the Knights. We've seen some of the potential of the piece uh, and we've talked about forks. I hope you enjoyed this video, if uh, you've seen value, please like, subscribe and put um, uh, push the like button, button yeah, and uh, please put a comment below and um, with some critics, suggestions to um, try to improve this channel, uh, help, uh, help me reach more persons and um, thanks a lot uh, for the last uh, subscribers and um, till tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye bye.